Alrighty YouTube, how are you guys doing today? In this video I'll be doing a comparison of Adobe CS5 doing an importing test, a speed test, applying a few filters of course this right hand iMac is the new 27 inch iMac 2011 the top end one for 1649 UK British pounds whereas this one here is a 27 inch 2010 version both are Core i5 machines this one's got a better graphics card it's a newer machine obviously and this one's got the older graphics card both are Core i5 machines so let's go ahead and not waste any more gibberish time and start CS5 at the same time both of these are trial versions so that looks like this one was slightly more faster and it's prompting me for a continued trial yes we are continuing our trial skip the step so next I'm going to import files courtesy of ilovefruit.co.uk 74 JPEG files and both are going to get imported at the same time so let's go ahead and open them I love fruit is uh, a new startup, shall we say? And there we go. We've got pictures of fruit baskets. They were doing Photoshop stuff, so they were kind enough to lend me these pictures because I don't have many pictures, to be honest. And these are taken with a professional DSLR. I'm not too sure what camera it was, but it was a professional one. By professional, I mean DSLR. And this one is finished and this one has just finished so as you can see it's about three second difference or so so next what I'm going to do here I've got the same image loaded up same file size etc and I'm going to apply some filters on it let's go into artistic and colored pencil this one again faster despite it having kind of less RAM but again the CPU kind of makes up for it it's all about the CPU power baby and then let's randomly choose some other files film grain Oops, not in the same time. Same time now. Doesn't that fruit look amazing? And yeah, these are kind of roughly happening at the same time. Not much of a difference. Let's go into a different filter type. Let's go into sketch. And let's see the first one. Yeah, it's not really that much of a difference, is it? But I know for some professionals, it might, that extra was 0 0.05 second is going to be of use. Let's try this water paper, see what this is all about. Again, 0 0.1 second faster. Colouring edges, stylized, let's see what this is on about. Oh, that looks actually pretty cool. And again, this one was a little bit faster. So this next test is going to be very similar other than these are finalised pictures, they're in .psd format and this particular file is 12 megabytes and let's go ahead and import this baby and there we go doesn't that look pretty neat but specifically let's apply some more filters on it because this is a large file and um, let's see how the filters vary if any let's go back into artistic colored pencil love my colored pencil don't i and there we go this one was faster noticeably and um, let's go ahead and apply random stuff to this. Ooh, rough. Let's try this out. Uh, it's the same, isn't it? Watercolor. Groovy. Let's go into texture. Ooh, this one looks pretty cool. Stained glass. Hey, there we go. But guys, that's it for this video. I thought we'd do this video and show you guys how well the 27 inch 2011 version iMac performs when it comes to Photoshop. I hope this video has helped. The series on the new 27 inch iMac is ongoing. If you haven't seen the previous video, click on the screen to go directly to that video. If you could like the video, you sir would be great. If you could subscribe to the channel, again, that would be pretty cool. Not a problem, if not. Guys, thanks for watching. Remember, you can join me on iglassweging.com, twitter.com slash i6glassweging. Got a Facebook fan page, facebook.com slash iglassweging. Are you looking to get any of the iMacs, whether it be a refurb or a new one or a used one from eBay, Gumtree, whatever, leave a comment below. But guys, thanks for watching. Cheers!